Hello my wandering friends, hope you are having an amazing day. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Emmy and I record videos on my many virtual adventures. If you can't already tell, today's video is a little bit different. I'm actually doing a voiceover for a playthrough I did about three, four weeks ago, I think three weeks ago. This was recorded on the 5th of January and today is the 31st of January. So I've been very inactive this month on YouTube. I've kind of just been unmotivated. I didn't know what to record. I feel like not a lot of people care about Animal Crossing New Leaf anymore since the release for New Horizons is so, so soon. But I still want to play and I still want to kind of, you know, enjoy my time with New Leaf for a little bit while uh, we wait. So yeah, what really motivated me to come back on here and talk about Animal Crossing New Leaf or, well not New Leaf, just Animal Crossing in general is that we got the announcement, that's right, the announcement for the special edition Switch for Animal Crossing New Horizons. And if you haven't seen it, you need to go and see it, which I'm sure everybody and their moms have seen it because it's everywhere. If I go on Instagram, people are talking about it. If I go on Twitter, people are talking about it. If I go on Facebook, people are talking about it. It's a really big deal in the Animal Crossing community right now. It's, uh, you know, come on. It's a special switch for Animal Crossing New Horizons, which personally, I thought we weren't getting. I thought they were cutting it just way too close, you know? It releases in two months and we haven't heard anything. Which kind of sucks for the people who bought Switches just recently because they thought we wouldn't get one. You know, I feel really bad for those people because they already spent their money when they would rather spend it on this special edition switch so that kind of sucks and i kind of you know that's not right for nintendo to do i feel like they should have definitely announced this way earlier than two months before the game releases um yeah that's like a bad <laughs> bad boo-boo on nintendo's part but we're getting it and i'm so excited i already pre-ordered my copy because my boyfriend who i love very very much thank you I know you don't watch my videos that much, but thank you. He let me borrow $300 and I was able to pre-order it. And of course, I'm paying him back when I get my tax return. But yeah, yesterday was the announcement for it. And as soon as I saw it, I was like literally crying okay not crying but you know i was like it took my breath like i was like oh my gosh it's happening it's happening so yeah i, I uh pre-ordered that and i'm so excited and you know it's almost time i can feel i can feel the times changing and i think we should probably get a direct early February so this coming week I feel like they should announce a direct and if they don't I'm gonna be so disappointed <laughs> they are really waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting to give us new like information about the game when it releases in two months which come on Nintendo we are dying for information <laughs> but anyway I have not talked about what I'm doing right now on the screen because I've been raving about New Horizons, but here we go. Um, oh, right, we found we found a mitten. I think it was a mitten. No, it was a book. And now we're trying to ask Annalisa if it's hers. Do, do, do. I'm trying not to read it out loud because I kind of edited this before I did a voiceover and I read very fast in my head, so I kind of just breeze through these. And to read it out loud, I won't have time to because, you know, I just be pressing the A button. But it's not Annalisa's, so I wonder who it could be. Which future me knows, I know whose it is, but you don't. That is suspenseful, huh? <laughs> 
and uh, we're trying to find some fossils which I noticed that I when I'm recording that I kind of forget to check how many fossils I have in my inventory so I'm, I'll be looking for another fossil when I already have all four of them so I think I did that here because when I was editing I was like what am I looking for I kept like um, looking up and looking behind the trees and I was like but I think I already have all of them but yeah I um, I can't multitask is something I learned with certain things oh no my cat's awake if you hear a cat meowing or this little growling it's my it's my cat she she's an attention hog there she goes I can't do anything without her she follows me everywhere And then here, I think those are peach trees. Or they could be pear trees. Oh my god, she wants to come on my lap. Okay, come on. Okay, she ran away. And then here, I think we're gonna ask Curlos if it's his. Oh. So something up, Shirley. Yeah, is this your book? Perhaps. Oh, isn't that my book? I thought I'd lost it in my room somewhere. It's actually my diary. <laughs> we found his diary. Oh my gosh, maybe in New Horizons we'll be able to read their diary or it'll give us the option to read whatever thing we find for a villager. That'd be so cool. And like, if you read it, they'll know. They'll be like, you read it, didn't you? Oh my gosh, that'd be so cool. But... But I'm probably just getting ahead of myself because Nintendo doesn't want to tell us anything. So I'm forced to come up with these ideas in my head that probably won't happen. So, oh my gosh, my cat wants these beans. I had a burrito, so now she wants to eat the beans that were left over. But I don't think that's a good idea. And here you'll see I cut a little bit because I just stood there for like 10 minutes. I think I was on the phone with my boyfriend ordering food or something. And so yeah, you see the time jump. So I was there for a bit. It was like two minutes, but it felt so much longer editing this. I was just watching this, like waiting for myself to come back and I didn't for a while. But it was only like two minutes. But yeah. I also want to talk about all the new, like, special characters or villagers we saw. I mean, it's all over Twitter as well. I think, I think there was three new villagers that there were, and I think there was two new special villagers. Um... Which is really exciting. I really didn't think we would get new villagers, but they look really cute. There was a little blue goat, then there was like a little pink, I think she was pink, like half pink, half blue, I think, like a little bear cub, and then there was a sheep with like a little tie-dyed shirt. And I think my favorite out of those three, I hope I'm not missing any because I don't have anything in front of me right now. My cat's uh, sitting on my lap, so I'm kind of just holding on to her. But I think the one I like the most that we saw is the little blue goat. He looks so cute. And I've never had a goat in my town. Um, so, oh wait, no, I lied. I did. I have Velma. <laughs> How could I, I meant like guy goat, you know? <laughs> Not like a girl goat, a guy goat. But that guy goat looks so cute. And um, I really, I really, really want him in my town or, well, my island, I guess. Um, here I'm just condensing my coins. I got too many bells in my pocket. So, I'm sorry. If you're British, I'm so sorry. I know that was a terrible accent. I don't know what I was going for, but I do that a lot, so I'll try I'll try to restrain myself. <laughs> and then here we go. And I also have really Okay. If you can't 
tell, which I'm pretty sure people can. I'm actually playing on my laptop, so I don't play on my DS for the for this recording. I do an emulator because it's better quality for you guys. And I was not gonna buy like a $700 capture card because that I don't have that kind of money. But oh, here she's asking us for a piece of furniture, which which um I messed up on at the end because I'm just so curious when a villager comes up to you so you'll see in the end how I messed up but I'm sorry Velma I wish I wish I could have helped you out there but I couldn't oh and then we're gonna go so yeah this uh, right now we're gonna get our watering can because I knew that Isabel gave you some but I don't know why it took me so long to kind of just I don't know why I didn't look it up how to get the watering can but we get it <laughs> we get it today um i just kind of kept talking to isabel until she gave it to me and you know that's good because now now we can get this town into tip-top shape um what was i talking about oh my gosh i got a brain fart i completely forgot what i was talking about <laughs> Oh, I got distracted. I really can't remember. This is why... <laughs> this is why... I have, like... Short-term memory loss, I'm pretty sure. I'm Dory. There, there we go. She has, She's gonna give us... The watering can. She's so sweet. I can't wait to see Isabel in New Horizons. And I wonder if they're gonna stay in that outfit um, that we've seen, the like, little like Hawaiian shirts. That'd be cute if they do, but I don't know if they will also change clothes. I mean, I doubt it, but it'd be nice if they did. Like change clothes along with the villagers. That'd be so cute. I don't know where I'm going with this watering can. All oh, right. <laughs> so now that we have the watering can, I'm gonna water all the flowers in town and it's really gonna pay off. And then here, I'm not trying to water this sign. I'm trying to see who is moving in. And we have Charlize, I think, or is it Carlise? Because it's not Clarice. It's spelled weird, so I don't know who that is. I'm thinking it's a pink bear, and I'm thinking it's, I'm not gonna be a fan, but it's okay. We're gonna love her regardless. <laughs> And I've actually, have I seen her? Has past me seen her yet? Has future me seen it? I don't know what how to word this. <laughs> I don't know, because I have a few episodes recorded after this. I just don't know what happened. It's been a, it's been a bit. I've kind of gotten lazy, but it's okay. I am now more motivated than ever to create some brand new Animal Crossing content. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm gonna really, really try to kind of get this town in tip-top shape before March. So, I kind of just want to come in here and just relax, you know? Just do my thing before New Horizons. How many times am I gonna say New Horizons in this video? Probably a lot. Probably too much. But you know what? This is what Nintendo has done to me. It's all I can talk about until I know what we're getting. And right here, we're trying to look for something for, for Velma, right? So I'm gonna buy this TV. 
or I'm not. I don't know why I didn't buy it, but I do come back and I buy it again. Or, well, I buy it. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today. <laughs> but... Here we go, and I think I kind of skipped a bit of the flower watering because, you know, it's kind of boring. I don't think anybody wants to watch that. And I really want to start breeding some flowers, but it's been so long, and honestly, breeding flowers take so much effort and it can be so frustrating because sometimes breeding doesn't go the way you want it to go and the flowers are just not cooperating and making the right colored flower you want. And here we're shaking some trees and I got my net out because I don't want to get stung by bees. It's actually a big fear of mine to get stung by bees because I was stung by a bee once in elementary school in my ear, like inside my ear, like, like this bee went inside my ear. Well, not in, you know, not inside inside, but on the inside part of my ear. And I think I was in first or second grade and it was the most painful thing that's ever happened to me. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't even a bee. I'm pretty sure it was like a wasp or something. But ever since then, I've been scared of bees, but bees look so cute. Like, I think they're one of the cuter insects, but I'm just really scared of them and I'm terrified of them. Oh, and that wasn't the only time I had an interaction with a bee because then I think two years ago, um, this bee got stuck in my hair and, and my hair is like down to my butt. So my hair is very long. Like, it's... A lot of hair so this bee got stuck in my hair so I heard it like just flying around my scalp and I heard the buzzing and I felt the vibration of the bee and it was the most terrifying thing in the world and this happened in broad daylight and on the street so I kind of was just screaming around crazy trying to get this bee off of me and I was yelling at my boyfriend to get this freaking bee from out of my hair so he was trying to help me so we we're both like screaming and finally he uh well he wasn't screaming my boyfriend doesn't scream but i was screaming and he was trying to get it off and it bit him well no it didn't bite him it stung him so the bee stung him and we were finally able to get the bee out of my hair because you know once it has stung somebody it, I think it can't sting again so so yeah I don't know how we got it out of my hair but we did I think I had a brush or something so we brushed it out of my hair but that was the scariest moment of my life and no I'm not exaggerating I promise that was the scariest moment of my life so anyway back to Animal Crossing whenever I see a bee in Animal Crossing I get triggered and like I'm deathly afraid, so I carry a net on me at all times if I'm shaking some trees. But if you see me not carrying a net, I'm probably just being lazy. And now we're gonna go to Main Street. This video is like all over the place, but that's what happens when <laughs> you don't live record and you have to do a voiceover. I kind of forget what happens, but it's okay. But I do remember what I was talking about before. Um, I was mentioning that I'm playing on a emulator instead of my DS and uh, that's why if you see me like mess up a lot of times like when I'm trying to either get my net out or you know dig some holes it's because the controls on the keyboard aren't as exact as they would be with you know a key uh, a t-pad and on your DS so if you see me mess up a lot it's because I'm playing on a computer and it's a little bit hard to kind of get a groove of the controls and stuff and sometimes you can't really get it too accurate because I use the like um, like the, the the keyboard keys obviously so yeah so sometimes if I drop a few couple frames it's because of that um, so yeah, but I think it's just overall a better recording experience because when I record my DS, I have to use my iPhone camera and 
I cannot move my screen at all, so I kind of just have to sit there for however long I record for, you know, and I can't move. So that's kind of hard, and I would have done it. It's just, it kind of hurts your back the way I have to lean over my iPhone and kind of hold on to my DS. So yeah, I think I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be doing another town tour of my... Like personal town, Maru Maru, I have a town tour already. That's probably how you found my page, um, is because you probably saw that town tour. So I'm not gonna do an updated version because I'm changing a few things and I'm trying to get my other town ready before I abandon it, which I think a lot of people are doing. Like they're trying to like prep up their town before they, you know, don't go back there for a couple of years. Um, like I know for a fact I'm not gonna be coming back to New Leaf. Um, too often, or, you know, ever. Well, not ever, but in the foreseeable future. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to get my town ready, and I did want to have four characters, um, living there, but I only did three so far, and I think it's too late to start the fourth one, because I haven't even finished my third player's house yet, so, yeah. But I am really liking how it's turning out, and that town tour will be up probably late February because I'm still like working on it and stuff. So yeah, it's not a big change, but I didn't necessarily like how it looked before. Well, I I liked it. I just I think it could have been better. So I'm trying to make it better. And here, um, he was just telling us how we're liking our house and stuff, and then wanted to see if he had any good options for like exteriors and doors, but he did not. So I'm just gonna keep my house like like how it is. And then I think we go to Nookland Junction. Nope, we do not. We, I don't know where we're going. I think we're gonna water, oh yeah, we're gonna water some more flowers and um, I think we do water all of them, but first we're gonna stop in here. I think this is where we get the TV now because we realized that there wasn't anything else to buy. And then there's Hugh in there. He's so cute. Big fan. Can't wait to see him in New Horizons. I'm sorry if you heard me burp. I couldn't help it. I just had a burrito. <laughs> oh, so no, I guess we're not getting the TV. We're selling some stuff. Um few fossils, fish, and um, just random bits and bobs. I feel like I've been talking more than usual, um, which could be a bad thing for you guys. I don't. I know when I watch um, playthroughs of Animal Crossing, I like when people <laughs> do a lot of talking. I just, I just, I don't know why. I feel like I'm there playing with them, and it's kind of, I don't know. I think that's how I prefer to watch my, uh, my playthroughs of, well, seeing other people play through it. I like when they, uh, just make co good commentary and, and stuff. But I don't really make good commentary, I just tell you about my thoughts, so. <laughs> I'm not that entertaining. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm sorry. <laughs> So now we're so now we're going back up to me. See, I don't know why past me can't just do everything all at once. Like I was already at Main Street. I think now we're going to the yep, we're going to Nucklin. And I think we don't get anything. Wait, no, I think we do get anything. I mean, I think we do get something. <laughs> um, I think just a cookie, right? We get that cookie. But playing with an emulator, I don't know how I'm supposed to get more play coins. Because obviously, like, you know, the play coins are with your DS. So I don't even know how I got 40 in the first place. But, yeah. Don't remember what we got. I don't think it was anything fun. So 
Stop it. My cat's scratching the chair. Can I help you? That Dharma, uh, like, doll in the back, in the background, it's really creepy. I don't really like that item. And the modern, I think that's the modern furniture back there as well. I think that's probably my least favorite, um, furniture in, in the game. I just don't like, I just don't like the look of it. I think it's just not my type of furniture. What is my cat doing? My cat's being a brat, so I'm sorry if you can hear her. Just ignore her. So yeah, I don't think I get anything because I don't want Velma to have any of those things. Even though I, I think I really considered buying her that stool, but... I don't think I paid attention when I was playing because she wanted a, um... Like a two-piece furniture, like, that takes up two floor tiles. And you'll see in the end that she was not happy with what I got her, so, yeah. You know, she had to be picky. Hello, welcome to the Handmade Fashion Palace of the Able Sisters. And here, oh right, I was so excited to finally find this dress. It's one of my favorite pieces of clothing in the game. I think it's just so casual and cute, and you can wear it with sneakers, boots, or flats. It just looks really cute. So we're gonna buy, I think, two things. Yeah, we're gonna buy that just to kind of help them make some money. And we can get our catalog going. And I'm gonna throw it on. Gaston's so cute. He's so cute. Look at his nose. He's the cutest button nose in the world. Honestly, if you hate Gaston, if you hate Gaston, I will come for you. No, I won't. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. But you have to appreciate his mustache. <laughs> it's so cute. And then here, we also have some uh, good items. We have this cap, which I really liked with this dress. It's kind of a very tomboyish look. But I don't think I kept it on. See, that looks so cute. Just the shoes were throwing me off. I think that's why I didn't keep it on. If I had like sneakers or something, or like boots, I would have kept it on. But I buy it. And then this little school hat. So cute. See? Everything just looks so good with this outfit. All the accessories look good with this outfit. Even that one right there to the left. <laughs> um... So I think that's it. And then I don't know at what point we get kicks. But we really need him in in here. I think we have to buy a certain amount at the Able Sisters, which I have not been doing. I haven't been buying too much from here, so I feel like I should start just buying everything and then just reselling it back because we need we need kicks. And I'm really excited to see him New Horizons. Here I go again, talking about New Horizons. <laughs> Every time I mention something, I'm like, I'm really excited to see a New Horizons. Oh yeah, here's the Ford skip to me just watering a few flowers. Um, I think we're almost at the end of it, but... It's very tedious to water all these flowers, but they needed to be watered because, look, they're all dead. I think this one's outside Boone's house. But, hopefully Kix has, I mean, obviously he's going to have a more expanded uh, catalog because we've seen a ton of new shoes. But I kind of just want to know what he's going to do. Like, is he going to be selling shoes? Is he going to be uh, letting you customize it? Like, I have so many questions. I love this music. The I think this is the six o'clock music, or is it the five o'clock? I don't know, but this this tune is so relaxing. It's one of my favorites. And it's, here we go. Oh right, and uh, you have a little visitor. You can hear her little bells. Look at her. 
I see your house is all finished. She brought us some new wallpaper. The paw print wall. Hmm. She's just giving us some tutorials on how to move around here and stuff. And she's gone. I really wish, um, maybe like the special villagers visiting you would be incorporated somehow into New Horizons. I feel like that would be fun and uh, it just gives you more personal time with the special characters outside of their um, their work. Like it'd be so cool if like after the town hall closes, which it doesn't, <laughs> Isabel's always in there, but if it was like timed and then Isabel can come over and just, you know, just invite her like a regular villager, that'd be fun. Here I'm just putting away some stuff that I bought at the Able Sisters. And yeah. Oh, here you can tell how like hard I'm trying to uh, control the the mouse up there because I'm trying to use a keyboard so as not to ruin your experience or anything cuz I can use my mouse to kind of click and drag things, but the the little hand disappears, so it's just like you can't really see what's happening. Well, you can. It's just you can't really see the hand move the stuff because the hand turns invisible. If that makes sense. And then, oh, here is where I messed up. So here I go to give Velma the flat screen. Then I see Boone. Wants to talk to me really badly, so I cancel me and Velma's conversation. She calls me, like, I don't know, she calls me a, this me name. And then he's asking for the TV I was gonna get Velma. So, you see my predicament? <laughs> I thought he was gonna, like, I don't know, say something interesting. <laughs> Not ask for this TV, but of course he asked for it. And now we don't have anything to give to Velma. So, she called us a goofball, and... Now we're not giving her anything, so I feel really bad, and here is me uh, staring off into space because I feel really bad and I feel tricked and played and betrayed. But no, I think I took another call or something because a, a little bit of time passed, so I had to edit that out. And then we are scrambling for some last minute gifts for Velma. We were like, mistakes were made. And then I was like, if I had a slingshot, maybe something in there would have helped in that balloon. But but I do not have the slingshot. So we come back into retail and we buy something, but I don't think it was the right something. Oh, I know what happens. Um, I'm going to sell a few things here. Uh, yep, just two things. We match these. That's so cute with our pink hair. All oh, right, we buy this vacuum, but then we piss off Velma because she has nothing to buy now. So now she gets angry even more. I'm trying to like <laughs> run after her. Absolutely nothing for sale today. I can't believe I wasted my time coming here. Oh my gosh. We are on Velma's list. <laughs> her naughty list. So yeah. I don't know where I was going. I was just, oh right, right here. We go back to talk to Isabel. And she has some exciting news for us. I'm gonna sit down in my mayor chair. Hi, Miss Mayor. Is there something I can help you with? 
anyone has in a minute. According to the recent client survey, your approval rating is 100%. Wow. Yay, we did it. Perfect. So she's going to send our development permit to get approved. I don't know if we went back yet. Oh my gosh, I really need to edit those videos. Editing is probably my least favorite thing to do, but it must be done. So that's really good news. So now that we're basically already the mayor, actually the mayor, um, we can start building stuff. And I think we do do that in the next episode, if I remember correctly. So <laughs> here I am shaking some trees in the last minute effort to find something for Velma, but alas, they gave me nothing. That's how you know I'm desperate. I'm doing it without holding a net. <laughs> All for you, Velma. And then... I think we go check Nooklin one more time because you know I think something's just gonna appear there that we can buy when we already know what's in there and we leave without getting anything so I don't know <laughs> I was just really trying to find something for her and I'm like well this was a waste of time nothing there I was considering that considering that then I was like okay no So then we give up and then we go, we go away. Poor Velma. If only I had just ignored Boone. She would have had a nice flat screen TV. So yeah, we were running all over looking for her and she was like right there. <laughs> so what did you get? Um, here, we have this- what did we give her? A vacuum, right? Yeah. Sorry, Emmy, but this won't have as much of a presence. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, so. We failed, and that was it. I gave up. There was nothing else I could do. So, unfortunately, we didn't get her anything. Which- which is sad. I'm sorry, Velma. But I'm gonna end this episode right here. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Have an awesome day. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.